Hi, I'm Abby at Sugar Creek Gardens. Today we're going to talk about a disease that's ravishing our bedding in patients called downy mildew. Downy mildew is basically a cross between a fungus and a mold infection that affects uh, in patients by stripping the plants of all their flowers and then their leaves and then the plant basically just dies and back to the ground. What makes it a terrible disease is that once the plant has it, it's pretty much incurable. And also, once you plant these infected plants into your ground, the spores from the mildew can last in your soil at least up to three years, but they're not quite sure. It could be even as much as 10 years. Luckily, there are alternatives to the impatients that we recommend. Uh, one being another type of impatient, the New Guinea impatient, which are in the family of impatients, but they are not affected by the downy mildew. Sun patients are kind of a subset of New Guineas, and what's so great about them is they can tolerate sun or shade, so if you're doing a mass planting, they can be used you know, all over your yard, not just in the shade. So you can have a nice matching look all throughout your yard. Bedding begonias are kind of an old tried and true, and again, those are good for sun or shade, but there's so many new begonias too as well. You know, the dragon wing begonias have been around a while, and they get quite large and are fabulous, but there's all these new big begonias called whoppers, and there's actually one just called a big series that, that get quite large and can take up some space. Another couple fun plants we like to recommend are wishbone flower, also known as terinia, which is just a little bit different, but it comes in pinks, whites, blues, even a yellow, um, and those can really lighten up some shady spots. And then if you run to go something totally different than an annual, we recommend a few different uh, perennial plants so you wouldn't have to replant them. One being uh, corridalis, and the other one being lamium, which gets a white leaf and then it blooms purple flowers. And those really do lighten up shady spots well.